septic tanks. Nobody likes to think about that. It is a despicable job. But the fact is, if you have one, it's a necessary thing. It's the history of the world dealing with waste. There's many things that can affect the efficiency of a septic tank. Trees and roots growing into your field lines. Maybe the water table comes up and it doesn't drain as well. There are many external circumstances, but hopefully your code inspector kind of took care of some of those things before you got your septic tank in. What we want to talk about is the inside of the tank. Yeah, is there really anything more disgusting than the inside of a septic tank? Nah, not really. But here's what you have to think about on a septic tank. There's a lot of misconceptions that bacteria and enzymes are the answer and the cure-all for a septic tank. It is important, but here is the main problem with a septic tank. The septic tank is full of anaerobic bacteria. That means bacteria that hate oxygen. So what they do is they form a biofilm on top of the fluid to protect themselves. That's what anaerobic bacteria do. The problem is, is when that gets up to where the drain lines go out to the field, then you've got sludge from that biofilm that is now trying to get out into those lines. Bacteria's doing their job down in there, but now you've got a backed up septic tank because it's not draining out. A lot of times on commercial applications where they have a septic tank in a commercial situation, they have an aerator because you've got to get oxygen to keep that biofilm from forming. Pork has an organic acid called fulvic acid. Fulvic acid breaks down biofilm. And when you do that, then you allow the septic tank to do what it's supposed to do. The other thing about port is, is it has good aerobic bacteria, which means it likes oxygen and it thrives. And they usually work faster as well. So if you could keep the sludge out of that drain field, then the bacteria can work on the solids and put some time between pumps, which is gonna help you financially, and it's gonna help you in dealing with some of the other issues that come with that headache. All those things sound good, right? But the fact is, whatever you're putting in your tank is gonna end up in your field, your drain lines, out in your yard, backyard, wherever you've got your drain field. So you wanna be sure that whatever you're putting in your tank is safe too. Port is organic, and to a lot of people that means, uh, whatever. But the fact is, it means that it's gonna be safe, non-toxic for your kids, for your animals, not harmful. So you put something good for the environment in your tank that's gonna be good for your house too. Now, how to use it? Well, it's so simple. All you do is pour it in your commode or your sink, or you can actually go out to the, to the clean line and just pour it right into the clean out line. It's not hard. Now, you wanna put it in probably about, like if you're first time to ever do it, go with a quart, and then about a month, do about eight ounces. And if you can do about eight ounces a month, then you can stay on top of it and keep that bacteria in there, breaking down solids, and keep that fulvic acid breaking down biofilm so that septic tank can do what it's gonna do, which should make your life much easier. Yes, pork can make your job easier in dealing with your septic tank, but we can make it even easier. We've got a little program called Pour the Port. The best way to take care of your septic tank is to do a maintenance, is to prevent. So what we developed is a little subscription. You sign up for the subscription and you get a quart and three eight ounce bottles. That will take care of you for four months. At the end of that, we'll just send you four eight ounce maintenance doses. Four eight ounce bottles, you can just sit up under your sink and the first of the month or wherever you schedule it, just simply pour it in your commode or pour it down your sink. Pour the port, make it even easier. Port is made right here in Georgia, in the good old USA. If there's anything that we can do to help you or if you've got any questions, feel free to give me a call at 1-800-608-3755 or you can email me at alan at southlandorganics.com.